Dear friends and colleagues, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am truly honored to address this special gathering for the National Sports Day of India. And I am grateful for the opportunity to share my thoughts and experiences with you. A long-standing passion for football, paired with my humble experience in Jordan and West Asia, has encouraged me a couple of years ago to take my involvement in the regional and international levels and contribute any way I can to this beautiful game. In addition to my responsibilities in FIFA and the Asian Football Confederation, and with the help of a small but professional and enthusiastic team, I have founded an NGO dedicated to both football, development and development through football. The Asian Football Development Project, a non-profit youth commission based in my hometown, Amman, AFDP offers member associations and organizations using football as a basis for social development needs-based assistance. The key pillars are youth education through organized football, inclusion and empowerment of girls and women's football, football for social change and development, protection and innovation of the game, fostering partnerships, networking, awareness and knowledge sharing. We strive to be a source of encouragement for Asia's football organizations to be more innovative and socially responsible, and to channel international power and expertise into local initiatives through leading and supporting projects that share this vision. Our website, www.d/afdp.org, offers access to football organizations across Asia to apply and hopefully join our rapidly growing family. One aspect of AFDP's strategy is supporting programs led by football associations. For example, we teamed up with the Philippines Football Federation to launch a nationwide grassroots program, targeting over 47,000 children in 33 regions in February 2012. Assisting NGOs that utilize football to create positive change in the society is yet another key element to name to name one, Salt Academy in Cambodia has an inspirational program called the Mighty Girls Select Team for girls at high risk of human trafficking. We joined them this year to provide full-time training, housing and educational opportunities for 30 Cambodian girls and to reinforce the Academy's talent development model which has produced many of the Cambodian women's national team players. AFTP also values the importance of knowledge exchange and has organized a number of highly successful roundtable discussions with the participation of independent experts from around the globe, one of which was instrumental to lifting the lifting of the ban on headscarves and allowing women to wear a safe design in official matches, giving millions of female players their right to participate without any obstacles or discrimination. This initiative also benefited men's football through enabling Sikh players, for example, to play wearing turbans in their communities around the world. Another successful discussion reviewed Asian club competitions and laid the groundwork for AFC's decision to, in March to increase the number of participating countries in Asian Champions League from 11 to 23. Of course, all this would not be possible without PepsiCo, who are incredibly dedicated to supporting our efforts, particularly in India, and have gone over and above their obligations as a partner. In addition to PepsiCo, our international network of friends includes leading organizations such as UEFA, AFC, Street Football World, and many others whom we are extremely proud to be associated with. Dear friends, AFDP and its official partner PepsiCo believe there is a well of potential amongst the youth of India. The opportunities are tremendous and very diverse. Last May, I had the pleasure of being in New Delhi to attend the launch of the Magic Bus football teams, a program that is very close to our hearts. Magic Bus gives over 250,000 children in some of the most marginalized areas in the country an opportunity to play the sport, learn and make friendships within a safe and caring environment. Our support includes equipment, coaching and uniforms for the most talented of these children who will be integrated into Indian leagues and talent programs. The Football Players Association of India is another organization we are extremely honored to support. 
We hope our contribution will assist them with the outstanding responsibility they have chosen to carry, giving underprivileged girls and boys from different regions and age categories in India ways to enjoy football as well as improve their skills through being trained by top footballers. Ladies and gentlemen, in order for football to realize its potential impact, the government, private sector and NGOs need to come together and back the efforts of the Football Federation. AFDP strongly encourages CSR within the ecosystem of sports in India and particularly in football. To this end, we are organizing a CSR seminar for the Football Associations of South Asia and India on the 26th and 27th of September with the participation of international experts from world-renowned organizations such as UEFA, PepsiCo and other NGOs for the purpose of creating further momentum and facilitating new partnerships. Our partnership with the All India Football Federation and the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry at this special event is a strategic one which exemplifies AFDP's objectives in integrating all relevant stakeholders to not only promote football but social development through football. AFDP is planning to extend its development programs in India and looks forward to building strong partnerships with you, the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry and the education authorities in India such as the All India Council of Physical Education and the Association of Indian Universities. We look forward to working even more closely with Mr. Prafu Patel and Mr. Kushal Das and all our friends at All India Football Federation, as well as the Football Players Association of India and Magic Bus to benefit the game and hopefully the Indian communi community at large. Finally, allow me to congratulate the Sporting Fraternity of India on the birth anniversary of the Indian hockey legend, Major Jian Chand. I extend to you my warmest wishes on this remarkable day of celebration. Thank you so much.